Oh, those science fiction characters. They have it made. Going out, exploring the universe, and doing other things that are beyond many people's imagination. But what would happen if they didn't have that option? Where would they go? Hmm. We're gonna find out where the crew of the Enterprise would wind up in my world, coming up next. Welcome to week 34 here on Vlogs of Seven. And this week we're taking science fiction characters from movies and series and putting them into real life job positions. For me, none of the characters are really too far out of their comfort zone, but I couldn't help but make this a topic because this has been a little inside joke between my dad and I for the longest time. And every single time he brings it up, I start cracking up. Besides, it would be kind of interesting to figure out where all these science fiction characters would be if they were real life people. So, let's get into it. So we have Captain Kirk at the head of the food chain, and he's basically going to run this place called Kirk's Auto Body. I think you can kind of see the connection here. He would be the entrepreneur and the boss of all the employees. Then you have Spock, who instead of being a science officer, is going to be the accountant. He's going to come up with all those taxes and fees that you'll love to pay when you go to the service station, and he's going to take care of all the books. Logical, isn't it? Then you have Bones, who instead of being a doctor, is going to evaluate all the cars that come in. So if you're bringing your car into the service station, he's going to take a look at it, write it all up, and he's also going to be responsible for all that trade-in stuff. So if you bring your car in to trade in for a better model or whatever, he's going to look at it and he's going to give you the best bang for your buck. Then we have Scotty, who is going to keep his job as an engineer. And he's basically going to be the one who's going to be fixing all the cars. So he's going to continue to do the things he loves to do. Then we have Chekhov and Sulu, who used to pilot the Enterprise, but now they're going to do something simpler and they're going to test drive your vehicles. When you bring your cars in for inspections or whatever, they're going to be the ones that are going to take them out and give them a good old check down and see if they're working fine. Just be careful if you bring in a nice car, they may not come back with it. Then finally, we have Uhura, who used to be the communications person of the Enterprise. She's now going to continue that job as the secretary. So she's going to be calling you up when your car is all ready. She's going to be setting up appointments, the usual things that secretaries do. So that is how the employee list would go down for me at Captain Kirk's auto body shop. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And that's all for me this week. I'll be back next week, and tomorrow we'll probably see Melissa. If not, on Saturday we will see Will, and if he doesn't show up, then we'll see Dylan on Sunday. So have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!